Hey, church, here we are. This is the last day for Psalm 12. Remember, next week and the next couple of weeks, we're going to talk about the Lord saves. But today, God will save you. So remember how we got here. We talked about sometimes living righteously can feel lonely, right? Like all alone because you're doing what God says and the world doesn't like it. It's against you. Um, and when you're in that place, you, you cry out to God, pray to God to help you. And when you pray to God, you can trust God because God's words are pure and refined like silver, and, and you can trust what God says. And so um, here's what David concludes with. He says, God will save you. It reads like this, verses 7 and 8. You, O Lord, will keep them. It's talking about the oppressed people, us. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side, the wicked prowl as vileness is exalted among the children of man. And so here, here's the deal, right? Um, David is saying, God, I know there's violence and wicked and evil and bad all around me, but God, you're going to keep me. You're going to trust me. And so um, here, here's the deal. Listen, in Christ, we have victory. We have victory against the ru rulers, the principalities. Uh, we win the battle. We find this in Ephesians chapter 6, Colossians chapter 2. We have redemption. In Christ, we're adopted into the family. Listen, the God who's adopted you into his family in Jesus Christ is not going to leave you alone with the wicked people to pounce on you. And so um, here's the deal. At the very end of this week, here's what I want you to focus on. Even when you feel alone and surrounded by evil, you can trust God to save you.